I was so excited because I put my printer to print overnight for the seven or eight time now and everything was going good I was doing print after print and then in the morning I went really excited to see my piece what I found was nothing <laughs> nothing was print just this blob on my nose so this happened for many reasons actually stay until the end because I'm going to tell you exactly what happened to me and that's something that maybe you want to know but two situations can happen the first one could be an easy fix yeah you see the blob you see everything that looks horrible but it could be easy fix the second one could be the blob of that and it is the blob of that because it will kill your extruder and you will have to replace it so in this video I want to show you how to clean on an easy way if it is the first situation or if it is the second one the worst I'm also going to show you how to replace your extruder so remember this is a sculpting channel but I have a lot of videos on 3D printing so subscribe check my links and let's start so the first thing that you have to do is to put your extruder the highest possible I'm not a tall person and I still wish my 3D printer was higher so I can see better but to start you're going to warm your nozzle just like the way you replace your nozzle that you have to heat it up you will heat it up the nozzle at the point that it will melt the material that you use on that fail so inside this easy situation two situations can happen the first one is that you can just grab it I don't recommend do it with your hands because it's going to be really hot but you can grab it and just pull it when you do that it, everything could come with the blob of filament and you're kind of good to go you can actually almost print you will have some residual that you can clean actually the way I did it was just with this small screwdriver and I was just trying to remove everything until it was clean and I was able to print another thing that happened to me that could happen is that it is harder to remove you can actually use a screwdriver or a tool to push that blob and it will come down but you will have a lot of residue the nozzle in this cube where the nozzle is attached it will have a lot of things around it so you can also with a screwdriver or a tool you can just push it remove it and sometimes it's really easy to be honest but sometimes you cannot really see what's going on you cannot really see if it has more damage and to be honest you want it to be on your printer because you need the nozzle to be warm to be able to melt the plastic and remove it so the best thing is to remove this front part and the way to do that we have two screws on each side we're gonna remove the small ones you don't have to like take them completely off but one thing that you have to be careful is when you remove this will be attached to two cables the left one is, is really small the right one big I decided to remove the, the left one just because it will easy to just hold and have it out of the way so now you're gonna be able to see everything one important thing is I really recommend to work on this side of the printer just because over here on the back is not really covered and you'll be able just to see more you'll be able to remove everything you'll see the damage and it will be easy one thing that I have to say is when you have those residues like I mentioned sometime I just took the blob and it was a real almost clean so to clean it there are kind of smaller brushes to be honest I got this big one on Walmart just for 99 cents and uh, I was surprised just a, a quick pass and it cleaned everything it was so clean I couldn't I, cu I couldn't believe it so use that and you're good to go but that's if you don't have any problem now why did I have to remove mine well here my blob it wasn't that bad like I mentioned I've, I've seen blobs that covered almost the entire or at least half of the extruder for me it wasn't that bad but it did when inside the fan that I have here on the back the fan has like a metal enclosure I decided to use a heat gun to try to melt that plastic so I don't even have to to get a new extruder and actually the plastic the fan is made out of I'm not really sure what but it was melting it was melting so I stopped and I decided okay it's better just to get another extruder I thought it was going to be more expensive to be honest it was $40 right now with tariffs and things that happen in China I don't know if it's gonna go way up but basically I got this on Amazon I have to say that it doesn't have the best reviews but to me it works and I'm really happy one thing is that I wanted to buy it from Lego 
But a Lego on their webpage, they say they were out. So I couldn't get it. That's why I went to Amazon and that's why I just decided to get this one. So now to remove it and change it, it's really, really simple. We're gonna remove, oh no, I'm telling you the way I did it. <laughs> but basically the first thing that you had to do actually is to remove the bands, those bands that actually move the extruder from one side to the other. They're kind of hook to the extruder. So you don't have to like, on a screw or do anything you just have to unhook them just leave them there I, and we're ready to remove the screw on each side of the extruder and you're going to see that these screws are attached to the kind of wheels on the back and those wheels are the ones that are grabbing the print so you're going to have them loose i don't recommend to take the screws completely out and if that happens you can have the wheel in other parts kind of fall apart and i'm going to show you like the how it goes. When you feel that looseness, you, you should be able just to rotate and kind of unhook them from the printer and you have it on your hand. So now you can switch it. But one important thing is that this extruder doesn't come with the metal part that attaches this cable and also that attaches the wheels to the extruder. So it's a metal part that is on the back. You just have to remove two screws and then put it in the new one. Really simple. And then you will just put it back again and screw everything. You should feel the wheels kind of lock and you shouldn't be able to, to have them move too much. You hook back the bands. If they're loose, I've never done it, but you have this away over here in the corner to adjust if you need more pressure on those bands. Just in case if you have problems, you will have to tune that through here. So basically that's how you change it, but why this happened to me? And I know it happened to me <laughs> because I was printing completely fine. I was trying to print a dinosaur and it just fell. It did print a little bit, but then I tried to print again and again and again. Actually, I tried to print multiple times and it fails like a thousand times. Okay, maybe not that many, but a lot of times and every single time I re-level the printer, I recheck everything and I was like, why is this failing? Even I switched it and I had this dragon I put this black uh, filament and it was it was working, it prints. I tried to print that dinosaur and it was kind of perfect, but it fell again. And I was like, oh, okay, I need to stop. I investigate. I actually, this is the roll of filament that I got. This one was really cheap on Amazon and a lot, a lot of people was saying, I did everything and I was never able to print. So something that I did, is I grab this filament and I compare it to the black one and to others that I have, and this was way thicker. So over here it says that I should have done it at 190 and 230 Celsius, and in the bed around 45 and 60. For sure that didn't work. I put it on 75 the bed, and I put the nozzle. The nozzle I did put it like a 220, so it wasn't that off, but um. After many tries, finally, I was able to print this dinosaur that I love. It was for my nephew. I told him that I like it so much that maybe I will keep it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give it to him, but I may print a bigger one for me. But it was a filament. This happened because of the filament. So remember, if it's not a sticking to the bed, it could be the temperature of the nozzle is not hot enough. Maybe the bed is not hot enough, maybe it's not level, or maybe it is a filament. But I was able to print. So enjoy 3D printing, have fun, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please leave them below. And see you next time.